Alex Crawford, Howard Kroom here with Los Alamitos junior running back Nigel Osborne. We're at the Battle at the Beach 7-on-7 seven seven tournament. Nigel, this will be your first year in the Los Al program. Going to come in, play running back. I've heard you've been balling out over there. Howard was telling me about it. What excites you about Coach Fenton's program? What excites you about the Los Alamitos Griffins? I mean, it's a great experience, you know. So it's, a, it's a family, so it's not always only about one person. It's about the whole team, about everybody over there. So it's like I, lo I love the environment that they have over there. It's really just everybody. So it's just the whole team, the whole staff, the whole school. It's just everything over there. So I, lo I love it. What are you looking to do this season personally? Do you have any personal goals, stuff that you're hoping to accomplish as an individually in addition to the broader team goals? Mm -hmm. uh, just do what I got to do. Just get the yards I, I, I got to get, get the notice I got to get. Just just show the talents that I wasn't able to show at the at the other place I was at. So, yeah. And what's your strength at the running back position? What kind of a back are you? Uh, I'm going to just... I'm going to play it all, you know. I, I ain't going to always hit somebody, but, you know, I could, I could do it if I had to do it. So it's just I'm a all-around type player. Well, I'm excited to see how you plug into that high-powered low sal offense. Talk to us a little bit about Malachi Nelson and Makai Lemon. You guys are all juniors. What a talented trio of juniors there at Los Alamitos. Uh, what's their leadership been like? What kind of stuff have they been telling you as you're new to the program? Oh, they're they're wonderful. They're, they're, those are just some good leaders over there. They they really uh, put an impact into the team, into the program over there. So it's like if somebody's down, they, they will lift you up. They, they are really some good leaders over there. So that's what I really like most, most about them. You guys have a target on your back being the reigning Sunset League champions, went 6-0 and last season. What's it going to take knowing that everybody's gunning for you, everybody wants to knock off Los Al? What do you guys have to do as a team to have a successful season and repeat as champions? Oh, just keep working, you know. That's all it is. You keep working. We can't let nobody beat us. Can't let nobody just hold us back. we got to keep going forward. That's all it is. I want to ask you, just building off that, about your goals for the season, not just as a, as a running back, but as a team. How far do you guys want to go? How far do you think you can go? We can go as far as we want to. That's what it is. We got to put our mind to it and then do what we got to do to get to the, get to the top. That's what it is. And my last question for you, can you give me a guy this offseason since you've been at Los Al that you've seen and said, man, he's working hard, he wants to get better, he's locked in this offseason? Oh, Ethan. Ethan. He, he, he's a dog. Like, he, he really been on, me, on the most. Like, I've seen him do the most craziest thing that I ain't never seen nobody else do. So, yeah, he's really a dog. What's Ethan's last name? Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know his last name. But oh, O'Connor, Ethan yeah, O'Connor. Yeah, I just want to make sure we give our guys yeah, the receiver. Some love here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Ethan O'Connor, he he's a he's a dog. Like he's a guy that I don't know who can guard him. Really. You heard it here first on Sunset Rewind. Nigel Osborne, excited to see you in the backfield for the Griffins come August. Thank you, thank you so much. Good luck, man. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for the time.